V, thank you for coming back again and asking me some really interesting uh, interview questions. Uh, I am currently uh, literally driving across the United States in my own nomad lifestyle, so pardon the, the road noise behind me, but it was either this or, or not get it done at all. So, wanted to answer some of your questions and uh, hopefully you'll like the answers. So first one, uh, what ending would I choose for Carrie and why? Uh, my favorite ending was the nomad ending for Carrie because it represented exactly who Carrie is, which is this real chaser of fame and his lifestyle and his rock star lifestyle versus uh, his love of V and his love of art. And in the end, he chose fame and fortune over V, which was very interesting to me because it says a lot about Carrie and his own internal desires. Uh, which ending was my favorite one to do, that one, um, because I love the poignancy of it and really the, the pull of both of those tethers. Um, which scene to, my favorite scene is um, where the, the, the J-pop, K-pop band uh, steals my song and I gotta go read them the riot act. Um, that was hilarious to me. Uh, and then also uh, blowing up my agent's boat, uh, which was amazing. Uh, what do the symbols on the neck piece mean? I have no idea that is a developer question. Uh, what I think is, if you look at the Cyberpunk 2020 um, design uh, back in the book, the tabletop version back in the day, uh, Carrie was based sort of like Nikki Six from Motley Crue. Um, and uh, I feel like those are sort of uh, a, a throwback to that. Uh, what was recording like? Amazing. Uh, every day I got to go in and do Cyberpunk was a, was a very, very uh, happy day. Um, I love the work. I got to do it for two and a half years. Um, and every time I went back to go record in studio, it was one of the most fun experiences ever. Uh, did I get to do the movements? No, I did not. Uh, most of that was uh, done in different places, although a lot of the time they did film my face for the emotions of the character. Uh, hidden gems. All right, there are a few hidden gems. They do require a very, very difficult search for, um, for V's hidden mansion, which is, I think, from game material that was then scrapped. So what you, you have to find the mansion and then there's some stuff there that is, I think, sort of a representation of, of uh, V and Carrie's relationship. Um, it, I think there are videos that you can look at online. That is my favorite, favorite hidden gem. Uh, thanks again so much. You're welcome again so much and thanks for asking the questions. I appreciate it so much for your interest in the character and for uh, Cyberpunk 27.7, which is finally looking good. So uh, go check out the game if you get it, because I think it is, it is now, if not bug-free, uh, bug-less. Bug, bug light? Bug, but not bug-ific. All right, hope you're well. Thanks much.